not as parents, it's our job to set the boundaries and rules for our kids, but boy, sometimes you just feel like a big meanie. So we thought that we'd get some reassurance from blogger Maria Foy and parenting coach John Cowan. Welcome back, guys. Hi. Hi. Now, Maria, you've got two under five. Yes. So what do you need to punish for in your house? Usually it's just not listening to mum and not following direction, and or in my son's case, uh, antagonising his sister. Oh yeah, well that, sounds, yeah. That, that doesn't change with the ages. <laughs> and do the punishments work? For the most part they do, but like kids live in the moment, so it's a constant battle to keep reminding them. It's funny, isn't it? The same word punishment, it seems like a really bad mm. thing to be talking, like a word to be saying. Well, I don't often use the word, I mean I talk about discipline. But and punishment can be part of discipline, mm. but it's not the major part of discipline. Discipline is helping kids to think, to back up, have another go at things, so that they make a better decision next time. That's that's right, isn't it? Because I don't talk about punishment in my house that often. No, that's more yeah. like you've been disciplined for being a naughty boy, yes. but I'm not going to punish you. Occasionally, you talk about consequences too. Yeah, if consequences. you're they're too slow doing something, there might not be time for a story. If oh, we always talk about the consequences in our house, yes. I think yes. every house with children Absolutely. does. Yes. So, John, let's go through the ages. What is the best way to discipline a preschooler? Well, sometimes it might just be to hold them back and just steady them down and just say, hey, let's have another go at that. Just say, when you're ready, we'll do that again. Uh, sometimes when they're a bit older, it might be just, just saying that they're not allowed to do something that they want to do. But uh, we discipline Mike, actually, on the cafe. Yeah. 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 Sometimes it doesn't work, eh? Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> you have to be quite repetitive with the discipline, don't you? That's the thing. Actually, you've got to tune it for the child because some things will work well in one situation mm. and they won't work well for another. There's a few one-size-fits-all mm. parenting skills, but a lot of things have to be tuned for the particular child. What works for you, Maria? Uh, oh at the stage with your preschoolers? Usually explaining there's a consequence, consequence happens which is always move them out or take something away from them. Okay. Always, yeah. And then they get that something big is going yep. on. Yeah, and then repeat times a thousand. Times a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> John, what about teenagers? Can you still punish or discipline teenagers? Well, yes, there can certainly be consequences and you control so much of their world and their access to technology mm. uh, is a big one. Just controlling the Wi-Fi. Why isn't the Wi-Fi working? <laughs> oh, well, we had that deal, remember? But the thing to do is to arrange it beforehand so that they know what's going to be coming up. Kids should never discover that they've broken some rule by surprise. Yeah. It should always be worked out, preferably the family You meeting. should give them the warnings yes. first yes. and yeah. then do it. Oh, yeah, not too many warnings. They, no. if, if they understand what's going to happen, it should happen. Yeah. And let's talk about follow through because mm. I've always been told that you should follow through when you discipline your children as in this is what's going to happen and that happens. What happens in the spur of the moment if you say something a little bit ridiculous like you haven't cleaned your room, therefore you're not going to go out for a whole month <laughs> or there'll be no TV for a whole month, which really isn't achievable yeah. in mm, a lot of households. No. Mm. What do you do then? Well, you can back down, but you don't have to back down all the way to the basement. Yeah. I mean, you can say, well, OK, well, I was joking about you being grounded for a month, but you're not going out tonight. Yeah. OK, and uh, you, you seem to have picked up your attitude, so uh, I'm not going to nail you by your ears to the garage wall like I threatened. I mean, <laughs> it's never a dumb thing to back down from a dumb threat. OK, no, you can ag yeah. agree yeah. that it was stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So what about if you don't agree with your partner on the punishment? Mm. Do you find this? Uh, definitely, and I think a lot of people probably do. Uh, the idea is to not have that conversation in front of the kids, but sometimes that does happen. But ideally, mm. back away afterwards, whatever's happened, have a chat about it. That's what I find works the best. Do you find one of you tends to be harsher than the other? Um, I, I don't necessarily think harsher, but we just dif parent differently. So, Well, yeah. this is the thing. We're all different people. Yeah, yeah. different ideas of how to bring up our children. Do you think parents try too hard to be mates with their children sometimes? There's times when you have to stand between your child and what they want to do. Yeah. You can still do that in a very friendly way. I remember someone saying, think of the Rock of Gibraltar. Warm, sunny, but solid. Yeah. Sometimes you're, you're not going to budge, <laughs> but you can still do it with a smile. Thanks so much, Maria and John. Sound advice, as always.